G'day guys, Greg here. Well today I'm going to show you how to cook up a delicious bacon and egg pizza. Just take a look at it. That is perfect for kings and queens. Everyone will be saying, How did you make it? And if they do, just direct them my way because I'm about to show you. So, let's get started. This is Greg's kitchen. So for this, all I'm going to be using is some bacon. Oh yes! Some eggs, about half an onion, a tomato, or as we call them in America, TOMATO! Pizza cheese, barbecue sauce, and of course a pizza base. Okay, so first things first, let's preheat our oven. About 220 Celsius, which is about 450 if you still use that archaic measurement. So I've got one, two, three, four bits of bacon. That's way too many, which is good. We'll start off by like chopping this up into smaller bits. Done. And we'll also slice our tomato, also known as a tomato, into slices as well. Now I'm going to cook this bacon because everyone says, you can't have bacon uncooked, man. Well, the fact is, it's already cooked. We're just making it cooked it up. I wonder if this pan's hot. Ah! So I'll just put some lubricant in here and I'll start frying up my bacon. And I'll throw my tomato pieces in here, aka tomato, as well. I'll add a little bit of salt to my tomatoes, also known as tomato. And just a sprinkle of brown sugar if you've got it, as well. That will make them taste even better. So hurry up and cook bacon. We're just waiting on you now. Alrighty, well while those things are cooking, we just need to cut our onion. And then I'll just slice it and then cut it up like this. Okay, onion, move over. It's time to start making this pizza. So we'll start off with our base of barbecue sauce and we'll spread that out. Okay, so now these are nicely cooked. What we'll do is we'll just get our tomatoes, aka tomato. And we'll just put these over the base. Now we sort of need to keep some spaces for the eggs, so we'll just keep all this nicely spaced. I might just start throwing a little bits of bacon around here on the base. And I'll also start adding some cheese to the outside area of this pizza. Just around the edges, because that will help stop the eggs from oozing off the edge. So we'll crack our eggs in these gaps. Oh yeah. Now I'll sprinkle on some of this onion, some more cheese in between the eggs. You sort of want to leave the yolk showing so it looks nice and pretty. I'll then top it off with a bit more bacon, because bacon. And now all we need to do is put this in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes, or until those eggs are cooked. And the cheese is all melted. Okay, well the time has gone off. It's been about 14 minutes now. So let's take a look. Oh, a bit of smoke. Oh, yum. Have a look at that. That looks absolutely awesome. So we'll cut it up and then we'll tuck on in for the old bacon and egg pizza taste test. Alrighty, so let's plate some of this up. Ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah. Oh. Alright, well there's some of that bacon and egg pizza I just whipped up. <laughs> How good does it look? Oh yeah. Oh mate, come to daddy. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think there's anything that you can mix bacon and eggs with that doesn't taste good, but that was delicious. To give it a go, I'd love to know how yours turns out. Remember to thumb this video up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time right here. I'm Greg's Kitchen. Oh yeah.